Hey guys, welcome to the Dad Verb channel. My name is Ben, and no, I'm not Andrew. This is actually my first video partnering with Andrew for the Dad Verb channel. I'm really excited to be welcomed here into the community and to help Andrew put out some more great content. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Peg Perigo Lounger on Wheels. It's a combination of the Primo Viaggio 435 loungeable infant seat and the Vivace lightweight foldable stroller frame. Now, first things first, let's talk about size and weight. With an overall weight of 20.72 pounds with a toddler seat installed and a width of 20 inches, this system is designed with urban parents in mind. Now, when folded with the toddler seat, the system is about 28 inches high and about 15 inches wide, meaning it's almost small enough to be a carry-on item. But even with its small footprint, the Vivace stroller frame holds up to 50 pounds in the toddler seat, which means you're going to be able to use this for a long time. Now, when you install the infant seat, you're going to get a total weight of about 25 to 27 pounds, which puts it right in line with its competitors, the Uppa Baby Cruise and the Mockingbird single stroller. Now, let's talk about the fold of the stroller. In our testing, the Vivace has been incredibly easy to fold one-handed, and the folded footprint means it can fit just about anywhere, from underneath the table at dinner, to compact vehicles, to even between the seats of larger vehicles. Now, the most unique thing that really caught my attention when we saw this at the ABC Kids Expo is the fact that the 435 Primo Viaggio seat has a nearly lay-flat lounge feature. Now this lay flat recline to me is a game changer because it means that your child is going to stay more comfortable for longer periods of time in their seat. And this means for parents less worrying about transferring them from their car seat to a toddler seat and back again, and you can just use one solution. Now on top of the lounge feature, the Viaggio also features some very comfortable and soft touch materials that are very easy to clean. We've even battled a couple of blowouts and a few spit ups and the material has come out looking like new every time we've cleaned it. And last but not least, let's not forget about safety. The Primo Viaggio 435 infant seat is one of the highest crash test rated infant seats on the market today. And that's because of its rebound bar, its kinetic side pods, and the adjustable foot that goes on the floor of your vehicle, meaning that the seat in a crash is not going to move from side to side or forwards and backwards, keeping your infant safe. Now, while there is a lot to love about this stroller, when we have such a high price tag on what would be considered a premium line stroller, we do have to look at some of the small design flaws that make it a little bit more difficult to use than some of its competitors. And one design flaw that really left me frustrated with a stroller at this price point is the fact that the single adjustment strap would catch on the shell of the infant seat over and over again, meaning I either really had to pull on it to get it adjusted or I had to reach under the seat to release it to allow it to tighten down enough to keep my daughter safe. Now, I did reach out to Peg Perigo about this and they said that their engineers worked on a fix and they sent me a video about how to re-thread and swap around the harness so that this issue wouldn't happen anymore. But I feel like at the price that this system comes in, issues like this shouldn't really occur. Another concern I had with this stroller system is that while the Primo Viaggio seat is made of really soft, high quality materials, the toddler seat leaves a lot to be desired. And at nearly $700, I would expect a better material selection. Where this becomes an issue is that the harness itself is made of some rough weave material, which could cause some irritation against your young one's skin. Now, the other concern that I had is that the toddler seat harness is incredibly difficult to re-thread and adjust, and it just got really frustrating to try and get it adjusted to the right height for my toddler. Ultimately, it feels like there were some design choices made here that just put it a step behind some of its competitors at this price point. Now, my final issue with some of their design choices is the fact that there is no way to one hand release the infant seat from the stroller frame. There are a set of adapters that actually attach to the infant seat and then attach to the stroller frame. Now, those adapters stay attached to the seat and not to the frame, meaning you have to release them individually each time you want to remove your baby from the stroller frame. Now, stroller preference is totally personal, so I would encourage you to test this out if you can get your hands on it and see if some of these design limitations outweigh the benefits. Well, that's going to do it for today's review. I hope you guys liked it. If you like this kind of content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you know every time we release a new review. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you got out of this and what we could have done better. I would appreciate your feedback and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. What if people are gonna be confused? Like, they're gonna turn on this video and go, that's not Andrew, that's a new guy. Maybe we should have done an intro. Well, anyways, I hope this information is useful and that people don't think I'm ruining dad verb. <clears throat>
<clears throat> All right. Calm the nerves.